In this video, I'm going to show you how to command click through class or function definitions. So one common problem that we have when navigating through code is how do we navigate through code effectively? Well, one way of doing that is by going to this left nav right here and then uh, just kind of scrolling through. You know, that's a bit time consuming. So a more effective way of doing that is to have the command click functionality that takes you directly into that file definition. Let's say I have this project that I'm, I want to dig into. Um, so right here I have the source code for the React project. So let's say I'm interested in, in looking up what const eval to string, what that value uh, is, and where that code is, is coming from. So one way of looking through that code would be you know going to my left nav, scrolling down, and then going to the shared folder. It's uh, Let's see, so it's up one directory, shared folder, and then we go down to here and then we see it's an eval to string. All right, and then I can double click that and now I'm, I'm here in eval to string. Uh, but as you can see, that was a bit time consuming. So there's a much faster way of, of doing that. And that way is uh, command clicking. A lot of IDs have this function I built in, uh, for example, RubyMine and others. You know, what if we could save time from scrolling down through the left nav and just command clicking, you know? Um, that would be great. That would you know save us time and also you know it'll allow us to navigate the code more effectively. So let me just demonstrate that right now. Um, so I, I'm here. I'm on const eval string line 13, and I'm just going to go ahead and command click here. So when I command click, it took me directly to that definition. So you see how powerful that is. Going through the left nav took us about you know seven seconds or so, um, but when we command click, it was instant. So now that we've covered why this functionality is important, I'm going to explain to you how to get this functionality. The way we, we get this functionality in Atom is by uh, downloading two packages. These packages are go to definition and hyperclick. So if I go to the top left and I go to preferences, if I go to packages, you'll see that I have these packages downloaded. I have go to definition and hyperclick. So the first package, go to definition, this is the package that does all the work really. This is the package that allows you to go to a, a definition. Um, and the second package, hyperclick, kind of just it kind of just enhances that functionality. So instead of the default command, which is a combination of keys, you can just command click and go directly into the definition. So that's pretty much it. Those are the two packages that you need in order to make the command click functionality possible. If you have any questions or if you'd like me to walk through how to download these packages, please leave a comment below and I'll gladly help. And if you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.